I didn't mean to sound like a twee little grungy teenager just saying all this. Gay bashing and bullying is a growing trend. In Providence, Rhode Island, hanged himself in his dorm room days ago. And it's too often leads to suicide. He is one of at least five gay teens to kill themselves across the country in the last three weeks alone, from Texas to Indiana to California. We've, we've lost a lot of sense of our beings. Like, we just focus on money and then just, like, temporary shelter. We kill other people and then we like lose our own lives and our own sense of self over it. No mother should ever have to bury her child, but that's what Zacqueline Elizaris has to do. Her teenage son Brandon committed suicide after being bullied for being gay. It's been three weeks since Zacqueline Elizaris' son took his own life. Brandon was found dead one day after a bully reportedly arranged to fight him. He was only 16. You're just not queer. You have to embrace everything. You have to embrace your your brown your brown self, your black self, or whatever you want to embrace. You have to embrace yourself as a whole. So that's my first message. Since we live in like it's also instead of evolution and revolution, it's devolution basically. Like it's a lot of devolving consumption. All you want to do is consume and consume and eat until there's nothing left, even at the expense of the rest of the world. We need to teach our kids to think before they speak and think before they act because in this case, words kill. A young life ended much too soon. Rainbow Warriors to me is young people, LGBT youth getting together and just fighting the oppression going on really my stepping stone towards I towards like I feel my real happiness and my real feeling. And I'm doing the work that I love. I'm following my heart. Um, and I think that that's really important. Don't let people stop you from doing something that you love. I think we're all warriors. We are Trayvon Martin! We are Trayvon Martin! We um, I think my purpose in life is love. The balance, I like to say balance, if I'm not balanced, I get sick, physically, so I like that I have to have balance in my life. I'm Trish, my nickname is also Trash, from Greeley, Colorado. I like slam poetry a lot, um, I guess I'm a poet and visual artist. It becomes a part of me, like it's a part of my limbs, basically, it's like a part of my soul just stretching outward out of my body. A medicine that I can offer to the world is my laughter. <laughs> if you're ever in that situation where you feel like you have to end it, remember in the darkest of places, in order to get out of it, all we have to do is turn on the light to remember to turn on that light. We're supposed to come together in unity to help heal ourselves and help heal Pachamama, the earth. We need you and each step that you take on the earth is, is like medicine to everyone. My name is Mimi Madrid and I'm originally from El Paso, Texas, Chukuslan, Turtle Island.